Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. This is a logic problem. At the conference, a mathematician and a chemist were talking. They were amazed to find that they graduated from the same high school. One of them, the chemist, mentioned that he had three sons and asked the other to calculate the ages of his sons given the following facts. Number one, their ages are integers. Second, the product of their ages is 36. And third, the sum of their ages is equal to the number of windows in the high school of the chemist and the mathematician. The mathematician considered the problem and noted that there was not enough information to obtain a unique solution. The chemist then noted that his oldest son had red hair. The mathematician then announced that he had determined the ages of the chemist's three sons and explain your solution. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Now, let's solve this problem together. Let's begin with the given. Their ages are integers, and the product of their ages is 36, and the sum of their ages is equal to the number of windows in the high school of the chemist and the mathematician. The assumption here is, since both of them went to the same high school, they know the number of windows in their high school. Or at least, they have an idea of how big their school is, so they know if the number of windows is too large, then that cannot be the answer. So let's explore three integers whose product is 36. And let's do that systematically. Let's start with 1, 1, and 36. So we have here a twin, and the eldest is 36 years old. The sum is 38, but the product is 36, which is this number. Next is 1 to 18. The sum is 21. 1, 3, 12, sum is 16. 1, 4, 9, the sum is 14. 1, 6, 6, 13 for the sum. 2, 2, 9, 13 again for the sum. 2, 3, 6, the sum is 11. 3, 3, 4, the sum is 10. So here we exhausted all the possible integers representing the ages of three sums whose product is 36, but the sum varies. Notice that there is two combinations here where the sum is 13. Since from the problem, the mathematician noted that there was not enough information to obtain a unique solution. So what could be the reason why the mathematician cannot obtain a unique solution knowing the sum of the ages? The reason is because of this 13 and 13. There are two age combinations here with a sum of 13 and 13, and this must be what the mathematician is looking at when he said that there was not enough information to obtain a unique solution. So we can now narrow down our search to these two combinations. Next, it is given that the chemist then noted that his oldest son had red hair. And by just knowing what is the color of the eldest son's hair, the mathematician was able to identify the ages of the three sons. How does it happen? Notice that in this first combination here, 166, six, there is a twin son here with ages 6 and 6. And these twins are the eldest. The youngest is the one year old. In the second combination, 9 is the age of the eldest. And there's a twin ages 2 and 2. Let's go back here. The oldest son had red hair. But here, there are two oldest sons, and in the second combination, there is a unique eldest son. And because of that, we now conclude that the ages of the sons must be 2, 2, and 9, because there must be only one eldest son with a red hair. And this solves our problem. So our final answer is 2, 2, 9 for the age combinations of the three sons of the chemist. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.